Hello, my name is Miguel Mata, and this is the This Way Out podcast, a component of the This Way Out project. This podcast is my attempt to address a few topics that can be especially challenging for some, but hopefully in a way that speaks to the humanity in each of us. It's my attempt at being a source for positive messages in a time where such messages can be hard to find. Good morning. It's April 16th, 2020. Good morning, and how are you? Hopefully this podcast finds you in good health and in good spirits. You know, I almost didn't record this podcast. I almost did not. Because uh, we're in the home stretch of the semester. Finals are coming up. We're still pushing hard to get assignments done and whatnot. And... You know, my professors, God bless them, they really are they really are putting in some work and they're being understanding and they're being patient, but um, you know, the workload is still pretty high, you know, just got to push through another week or so and we'll be all done, but uh, you know, because of all that, I almost didn't record this podcast, even though I knew, you know, well, there's like one or two of you out there who I appreciate very much. Who are listening to <laughs> who are listening to this podcast so it's for you one or two out there and potentially more listeners that i did this not to put it all on the listeners you know if it wasn't you guys i wouldn't be recording this podcast no not at all this recording this podcast is actually a measure of keeping my sanity if you will not that i'm losing it you know too terribly bad <laughs> around here but it's something i enjoy doing and something I look forward to, and in all the chaos that's going on, it's kind of my way of, um, you know, stepping back and doing something I like, and just, you know, it's it's another one of those kind of like little self-care things that I talked about a few episodes ago, um, you know, just this is, this is my way of, of looking out for myself, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy, for those of you who might have seen The Shining. Um, wow, that might be a bad reference right right now and for this <laughs> for this podcast episode. But like I said, um, um, you know, whatever. My sam my sanity might not be a hundred percent intact because of all the the craziness going on. But uh, anyway, you know, I wanted to record one, and uh, and and like I said, I hope it finds you in good spirits and in good health. Let me see here. Let me look at my notes. What am I talking about today? Um, oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? Here's what it is. So, okay. Every, we're all aware of the, um, the, the, the situation in the world. I don't want to say the word because it's kind of like a buzzword. And I don't I, no. This is This podcast is not a podcast of buzzwords. So what I will say is that the current health situation world health situation that is going on um you know it's got it's it's got a lot of people nervous and anxious and when people get nervous and anxious they have a tendency to you know people as a whole have a tendency to to say and do some really crazy things to say for lack of a better word right now right they just do stuff that that doesn't make sense and uh, i just wanted to address some of the nonsense that is especially present on social media and the reason I'm directing this podcast toward the nonsense of social media is because as I've stated before that you know this podcast and this project that's where that's where it all started it all started in social media and what I was reading and seeing on social media I you know hand up right hand raised I Miguel Mata am a social media addict. I don't say that with a ton of pride, but I also don't shy away from it because it's it's just you know it's it's the way things are and it's the way I am and and I'm no different than than most people who spend a lot of time on social media. So there you go. But anyway, like I said, it's where this it's where the idea for this project started because you know I was looking at social media. A year a year a little bit over a year ago now 
and just thinking to myself is like, are the world really falling apart? Is it really? It because it really seems like it's falling apart. And I looked around um, in my immediate area, and it's like, no, I'm surrounded by good people. I know good people over here, and I know good people over there, and and I know all these good people, and they have these amazing stories, and they've all done great things. Look, you know, and it's like. Social media is not an accurate representation of society. I don't believe, you know, I don't, it's not, it's not, it it really isn't, but it can, it can kind of seem that way if that's where you spend a lot of your time. So I, I created this project to kind of push back against that stuff, which is like I said, why I'm directing this podcast episode specifically in that direction toward social media and the nonsense of social media, especially especially today right now as it stands because of all you know there's there's a lot of tension there's a lot of um you know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now with the current health situation and you know it's got people saying some wild and crazy stuff so in that vein i just wanted to put out there just to be cautious of and be and be aware of the feeling of fear right be mindful of i guess i'm not saying be mindful of your own fear but what i wanted to pass on is that you know fear is fear can be a dangerous thing and the reason i say that is because whenever fear sets in you know people have a tendency to polarize you know what i mean they find their 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 group right and they and, and their group is the most important group and any group outside of their group is less important and they can it, it can get it can get very ugly you know and and that seems and and that seems to be what I'm seeing on social media right, right now right when you take well I'm gonna go ahead and say it you know that it, it's it's easy to point out when you when you spend as much time as I do on social media and you have such a wide and I have, and and with the wide range of friends that I have, you know, they're on on different ends of the political spectrum, and it's I see both sides of it, which is why I I, I still call, I consider these people friends, and I make sure that I, I keep friends on both sides of the, of this political thing. But it's e- it's easy to see, you know, like the like it's easy to see the fear, right? And when it, the fear and the ang- and and people get anxious, you know, they they. They um, polarize and then they fit themselves in their little boxes and, you know, they, they, yeah, they gravitate towards their little boxes, towards their, their, their group. And then their respective group is, is number one and everybody else is number two or insignificant. And I just wanted to put it out there to be mindful of that stuff. Be cautious you know, you're, if, if you're if you're nervous or if you're scared, be aware and be mindful of your feelings and your emotions because, um, you know, maybe you you're not, but someone that you're with could be saying or doing something that is inappropriate. Or this is this is a podcast and this is a project of community, right? And when it comes to communities right we got to look at each other with with some level of respect right like it's not it doesn't have to be touchy-feely and it doesn't have to be all kumbaya but it definitely does it definitely there definitely has to be a level of respect and when fear sets in that respect level that yeah that level of respect for your neighbor has a tendency to drop so just wanted to throw that out there it's like be cautious be mindful be aware of those um feelings and whatnot and it's okay to be it's okay to be scared there's nothing wrong with being scared being scared is okay it's an understandable emotion it's an understandable feeling it's 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 appropriate it's appropriate i would say it is appropriate to be nervous and scared and anxious in times such as these that makes perfect sense what doesn't make sense is whenever we treat each other poorly because we are scared okay so that being said that being said what i challenge 
you to do, and what I challenge all of my listeners to do, anyone who might be hearing this podcast, is as you feel, maybe fear, anxiety, that polarization feeling coming over you, or coming over the people that are around you, I challenge you to try to counter that with some level of love and compassion. And, you know, for a lot of the guys in the room, you might hear the word love and go, ooh, I don't feel comfortable. I feel weird, icky. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but love is love, you know? You got you get love and love, love is love. You know, if, if you don't feel comfortable around it, I apologize. Un- understanding, respect. Let's, I don't know. You, you grab a thesaurus, find an alternate. Um, an alternate word for that <laughs> but I challenge those of you who might feel uh, fear and anxiety right now and you feel like you know you're, you might be falling into that that polarized box where you, you gravitate towards um, a group and you, you look upon another group with you know uh, disrespectful eyes and ears I challenge you to be aware of that and then counter that with some level of love and compassion right see people um see others for their needs right look at the other group and say oh yep yep those are people over there too yep those are people over there and they're struggling yep and they have needs okay yes they have needs just like i have needs and those people over there have have feelings and emotions just like i have feelings and emotions Yep, they might be different, but they're still people. That's what I challenge. That's what I challenge you and everyone else to do. When you feel the fear and the anxiety draw you towards your group, whatever group that is, and then your group start has a tendency to um, starts to starts to develop that tendency to look at other groups and saying, "Ah, you're wrong. Ah, you're this or that." Or meh. As I shake my hand like an old man. I challenge you to, to take a half a beat, a full beat, and have the conscious thought that that group is full of people with needs, feelings, and emotions, and their own fears, just like you, yourself, and your group have your own feelings and emotions and fears, and say, okay, yes. We're all people here. How do we make how do we make this work for all of us? How do we how do we ease the tension between all of us? How do we make how do we how do we work together? How do we make each other feel more comfortable? How do we do that? How do we do that? That's 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 my challenge to you. Okay. Um just like just like you know, I came to the realization that the world is not falling apart. I, I encourage you to to see the same thing. The world, you know, not to take away from the current situation, but it's like everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. We're all still in good shape. Really, we are. We really, really are. You, you, are, you're okay. Everything is okay. Here's my one piece of advice for any of you who might just feel like. You know, you can't, you, you can't, you're doing, you're having trouble. Um, what are the, what's the, what are the kids saying? What are the kids saying now? Nowadays, I'm having trouble dealing, right? If you're having trouble dealing, right? Your anxiety levels are through the roof. You feel the depression start to set in. My, my advice to you is to start to make your, your circle of focus smaller, Right. Start start cutting off, you know, don't watch the news, don't hang out on social media, you know, start cutting off. Maybe you're a podcast listener and this podcast makes you makes you anxious. Right. Stop listening to this podcast if you have to. Right. But bring your focus, your circle of focus, make it smaller. Right. Bring it down to only the things that you have within your control, right? If that means you're going to school, just focus on your school. 
And then when, when you're done working on your school thing, chill out, watch a movie, watch some TV, hang out, do the stuff that, that makes you comfortable, right? But stay away from the stuff that you know gives you um, trouble. The stuff, stay away from the places that you know make you anxious. Make your circle small, your circle of focus. If you got to go to work every day and you're, you know, you get exposed at, at, your, at your work areas, whatever, wherever you work at, you get exposed to the troubles of the world. Just be mindful that you're getting ready to walk into that space and it's going to be difficult. And if you can avoid those conversations or avoid those people at all, then avoid them, you know? And, you know, don't worry about how you feel or how, you know, how um, a person might feel or whatever. You're, you're, you got to keep yourself in mind, right? And you tr- got to make your, your circle of focus smaller. And if, you know, these things that are going on right now are making you nervous, then you got to walk away, right? That's my, that's my, um, my advice to you. Make your circle of focus smaller. Get down to the stuff that you can control. Go to school. That's it. Right? <laughs> you can't get much smaller than that, right? If you got a family to take care of, focus on the stuff that, that only concerns your family, and there you go. You got to go to work. Go to work. You know, and expose yourself as, 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 as little as possible to the stuff that makes you uncomfortable. And then call it a day. And then do something that's relaxing. Do something that that, that makes you feel better. But uh, yeah, get small, focus small. It's going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. You're okay, and it's okay. We're going to be we're going to be all right. Just keep pushing forward. Um, appreciate the little things if you can, and you know, hopefully, you realize that that you're good and we're all good. All right, so focus on the good. All right, so that's going to be the podcast for today. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I, I, I went a little bit longer. It looks like we're going to start pushing these um, podcasts. If I want to start doing it, this new format, um, we're going to be pushing these podcasts from 10 minutes to probably 20 minutes. So we're coming up on 20 minutes now. And... Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and end it there. I appreciate you guys tuning in. It's going to be okay, everybody. It's going to be okay. We're going to be all right. Keep going out there and doing your doing your thing. Keep being awesome because I know you're being awesome. And if you don't think that you're being awesome, if you hear me saying keep being awesome and you hear those words and you say, I'm not really being awesome. Well, I'm talking to you too. Whatever you're doing. It's awesome. Okay? <laughs> Just listen to what I'm saying. You're awesome too. Alright? Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Um, take care. God bless. We'll talk to you again on Monday. This has been the This Way Out Podcast. A part of the This Way Out Project. If you enjoyed this episode and you want to hear future episodes, please subscribe. If you would like to get in touch with me to recommend future topics, provide feedback, or for any other reason, you can comment on the episode or send me an email at thiswoe.light at gmail.com. That's T-H-I-S-W-O dot L-I-G-H-T at gmail.com. If you're interested in the other aspects of the This Way Out project, be sure to visit my website at thiswo-light.com.